Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I am Corinne Clemens. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for following me right here, right now. This is Kareem in the morning. Okay. So welcome guys back to the show. I am Kareem Clemens. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, actually, I'm sorry if I'm looking over here. I'm kind of like uh, controlling everything. But at this time, I would like to roll it. This channel and these videos are not meant for children under the age of 13. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to, we have a new disclaimer. So this is the disclaimer, copyright disclaimer under the section 107 and copyright act of 1976 allow is made for fair use and purpose such as criticism, comment, news, reporting, and teaching. Okay, so again, this video was made for entertainment purpose and transportation informational and nature okay all right so with that being said warning the views expressed and opinions on this program is just the views opinions don't take any of this serious but i will warn you your discretion is advised okay so we have some breaking news Breaking news, breaking news right here on Kareem in the morning. Uh, I can report from social media that, and I wanted to report this before, but I was waiting for everything to die down and make sure, you know, information was connected dots. Okay. So here, Grammy Award, Cardi B won. A lawsuit against YouTube Tasha K for defamation, invasion of privacy, and intentional inflicting of emotional distress, and was awarded a seven figure sum and damages. Now, that is worth a problem worth discussing, not discussing on. Our form, I'm talking about Tasha K. I'm talking about her. She's going to have to pay to pay a seven figure. So we're going to go into what those seven figures are and how uh, those seven figures became possible and how Cardi, P, Cardi B is waiting for her money. I can say you did what you did, you said what you said, now it's time to pay what you owe. Okay? And I'm 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 really I, I stress those words because I really mean it. Because this here makes it look bad for a lot of people who are trying to go out there and give their opinions about a story. When you look at and hear about what this person did. Okay. I will have sued, I would have sued you too, and I would have gotten more money than I can ever imagine, plus more. But we're gonna go into the seven figure of what was uh said in court, what Tasha K has to pay, and what's what's next for Cardi B. All right, so yes, we do know that Cardi B, rapper Cardi B uh awarded over four million four million o m g four over four million including 1.3 million to cover legal fees in her uh landmark uh libra lawsuit against youtuber tasha k i'm not gonna say her real name the everybody social media knows about tasha k you guys can go on social media and look up her own name. In her company, okay, for making false claims about her sexual health, drug use, marriage, 
and well-being of her child. Now, hold on. Let me just go ahead and, 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 and go to this next step because I want to um, put this out here because this is what I do. OK, I'm a citizen journalist. OK, citizen journalist is known for collaborating uh, media, you know, based upon citizens uh, playing an active role in the process of collaborating, reporting, analyzing and disassembling the news and information so we take that and we give our opinions on those topics that we want to talk about so today's topic on kareem in the morning the topic is about cardi b winning her lawsuit and how what and how the person who have to pay all the money what she did is not what you're supposed to do when you are going out there to report the news and the information. That's what I'm saying. Because that is a no-no. That is a no-no. When you are out there putting information out there and you don't have information, first of all, if you don't have their permission, if you don't have their permission, and if you have not have their permission, okay, technically, that's like copyright, okay? You are entitled to a lawsuit. You can't be slandering people's names. You can't be taking information that is untrue. Now I now I know, and I and I said this way back when T. S. Madison and Geo, the former manager, was going through that whole saga, and how Geo took the information that Madison had given and trusted him because he was the manager and he put it all out there in social media okay and then next thing you know everybody across the lands as t.s madison will say took the story and nowadays it's like they screen recorded it so even if they had an injunction to take the, the video down it is still up the video is still up on social media it's still up because people screen record it. They screen record it. So all the videos that I went up there and I seen with Tasha K, I was particularly looking at one video where she was in a, a room, okay, and her child came in and she was yelling at her child or whatever, but she was drinking. That was the first mistake, the first red flag, okay, because you're uh, doing drugs on your live, you're drinking, you're drunk. You're under the influence, and then you're uh, uh, narrating these false you're, you're you're narrating these false claims about somebody because of clicks, views, and likes. This is my opinion. Okay, this is what what I believe happened, and how you felt that just because you have your subscribers or your millions of subscribers and people are donating and your sponsors, they're gonna cover your ass so you can say whatever the fuck you want to say. But not in this case, okay? Cardi B won, and other people are going to be filing their lawsuit against you because you know you was wrong. You know what you did. And again, you did what you did. You said what you said. Now pay what you owe. Okay? So, uh, yeah, so the whole thing with Geo spreading the news about T.S. Madison, all online. The videos was so-called taken down or whatever, but the other people screen record, they picked it up on their um, platform and they went out and they used it. So there was a video that Tasha K was in and she was saying that, oh my God, oh my God, I can't believe it. Cardi B wants to settle. She wants to settle. Man, I'm not fucking settling with that. I'm not settling with her, man. We are gonna take this to court. And, oh, my God, if we could have seen uh, Raven, that's a Raven, if we could have seen the future, you know how she looks, and see the future, and you would know that, okay, well, in the future, oh, my God, wow, I just seen the future. If I would have settled, and they're saying, no, we're not going to settle, and the case was not going to be thrown out. See, you were saying, oh, this bitch is going to pay my money. She's going to pay me, 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 pay me. And now look how the tables are turned. You got to pay her. You have to pay her 
over four million dollars. Now I don't know if you have it. I don't know if you have it, but when I last checked, I did a um um uh, um worth network, and it don't look like you have over four million. It just says one point something million. Okay, that's what it says. But I'm just saying. I'm just saying because we have to watch what we say out there on the internet, the World Wide Web. People are not forgetting about it. People, I mean, people are not remembering, but they're forgetting about the fact that people can take your information and they can perceive it so many different ways. It's almost like you looking at a picture and the picture is a thousand words and boom. But when you put a false narrates out there, you are definitely, definitely doing a bad deed. And that is not what you're supposed to do in blogging and giving the story. I heard your story, sister. Okay? Sometimes people say they've been in the game for a long time because they want to be like Wendy Williams. Or they want just because Wendy Williams did it, or just because she did it on her radio show and she got a talk show, or just because she did it, I'm just going to do it now with the new ages. Absolutely not, bitch. Absolutely not. No. No. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No. No. See, different people back then, then and now, you know, a lot of things, people have grown and, and got big pussies and big dicks. You understand? And now they, they tough guy and they stand out and, and they can, you can only go but so far. But they shutting that shit down right at the door. They shutting it down, bitch. They shutting it down. And you going to go after Cardi B? You're going to go after Cardi B out of all the people. You were saying in the videos that she was coming after you. I seen these so-called receipts that you know nowadays in the technology that we live in, people can make shit up. Thanks to T.S. Madison, the Queen Supreme Court, when she used the word allegedly. Okay. It's like you had all these so-called receipts and saying so many different things about it. So I guess the court felt that you were wrong. You were wrong, and now you must pay up. So the video was basically saying that she said, okay, she was saying that, no, I'm not settling. We're not settling. You should have settled. Maybe it would have been less than four million. I don't know. Okay. And then you were saying, oh, the judge ain't going to want to throw the case out. Yeah, the judge wasn't going to throw the case out because she knew that it was going to work in the favor of Cardi B. She knew that. They wasn't going to tell you that. Little old you against big old her. Absolutely not. You go against Cardi B. Out of all people. Okay, so listen, it's, uh, oh, yeah, I, I mean, I, I know, I know. I, I mean, I, I got a feeling too, man. I got a feeling that Tasha K is going to file for bankruptcy. I think she's going to file for bankrupts, bankruptcy because that's a whole seven years and all that other stuff. Because I'm like, okay, where is this $4 million coming from? Oh, 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 oh. Ding, 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 ding. I don't have a bell, but ding, 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 ding. I know exactly where that $4 million is going to come from. It's going to come from her subscribers. It's going to come from her subscribers. It's going to come from her subscribers are going to pay for the tab. They're going to pay for it. They're absolutely going to pay for it. and Or bankruptcy. Either that or bankrupts. Either or. And, you know, it depends on what are, what's up for collateral. It's up for what's up for, you know, what she says. I don't know. But that's all going to work out. Let's go into how this lady have to owe the notorious Cardi B $4 million. Okay, so let's see. So she must pay $1.3 million to cover legal fame, legal, cover legal fees. Okay, you said that already, Bree. Right, I did. Uh, hold on, let's go into. Okay, it says, over the years, the studio, LLC, that YouTube Tasha K is uh, with, 
uh, had videos attract millions of views, helping her sub secure one million subscribers. See, that's what I'm talking about, man. I said this then, I'll say it again, man. Everybody is on this bull crap on who, what, and where. What? Yes, subscribers, views, clicks, likes. I mean, you might see it right here, okay? I may ask for it right here. But people are just worse about, they just worse than the people that's handing over the collection plate in the church. And they going around saying, oh, we need to get another donation. We need to get another donation. We got to get another $40, $50, another $100, another $30, $40. That's just as worse as that. Because every time you're on there, well, we need to make sure y'all share this video. Make sure y'all, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. And I remember it like it was yesterday. I remember watching, watch, watching, watching, watching Tasha Kay, and she was doing an interview with someone who, you know, allegedly went with Nene Leakes. And I love Nene Leakes. I always hear her saying, I have a robbed honey, and the spotlight is on me, honey. All right? So this person was saying that he was Whitney and did all this other stuff or whatever, but you had this person on the show clicks, views, and likes. And then right when I right when I finished watching that video, I seen that she had 99 point some, nine something. It don't let you see the next numbers. Subscribers. And then when I came back to that her page, uh, it was a million subscribers. I was like, wow, she achieved her subscription. She, she achieved it. Now what? Okay, you get a bigger platform. You get a bigger, yeah, bigger platform. You get a bigger plat plaque. Because, you know, when you reach your 100 subscribers, then you get them. But that means something to them. You know, everybody feel appreciated that YouTube is giving those plaques away. And then every time they got to go back to the board and change the rules and regulations. Because something not right here. Just something not right when you're uh, spreading false narrates and lies on people. And doing this for views, clicks, and likes. Let's continue. Okay? So... The 1 million subscribers to monetize the channel. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. So you have to get, I thought it was 100,000. I thought it was 100,000. And, okay, before, it, it was just over, I mean, yeah, look, man. Look, it was, it, it changes like hotcakes. Okay, first you had to have 4,000 hours with 100 subscribers. Then it's 1,000 subscribers with over 4,000 hours plus this and that. I'm like, look, man, too many ads on there, too many monetary. That's getting people hurt, sued, everything. I'm just saying. Okay, so you so you trying to so at a million subscribers, I guess now your page becomes some, uh, monetized, or you know you can put so many freaking ads on there. I give you a dislike. If I see more than two, three ads on there, I give you a dislike automatically. Okay, I'm telling you right in your face. All right? I hate to watch a video with no with ads, especially when you make you force us to watch the ads and we can't skip it. Mm -mm. Not me, bitch. You will get a dislike, bitch. And then I will block you. Uh, but anyway, now I won't block you. I can't block you. I, I'll, I'll just... We'll give you this like. I'm not even subscribed to you. Okay, so minus watch the channel as she uh, admits. Okay, uh, okay, at trial. Okay, she's at trial. So the ad revenue sponsor contained in merchandise top YouTube annual earning can be millions. So okay, I got it right. I'm, everybody processing things, and I'm processing this right here on Cream in the Morning. So, here we go. We have a person who is trying to become famous, a superstar, by being a personal gossip talk person who gives the gossip on stars. And you out there, and you're saying this. Now, I can understand if the gossip that you're saying, you had credibility source. We're not going to say receipts. We're going to say source. Because receipts could be any receipts. You can make up receipts. You can fabricate receipts. Okay? We're going to talk about false source. Okay? And 
not false information. Source information is information that is true and accurate. All right. But why, why health? Why would you want to know about the health? I mean, do we know about when you had your period? Your menstruation cycle, when you was leaking in your panties, did we know about that? Uh, did we know when you had your child, uh, was your was the, the, the clitor open? I mean, did you have to have a C-section? Or do we know when you breastfed? Or do we know your husband likes to eat your butt or you like to eat his butt? Uh, like, hello? Like, you sitting here talking about herpes and AIDS and HIV on certain things, and you don't even fucking know. And you putting this information out there. So, you know, we don't know any of that personal information about you. We don't. We don't. Okay? And you are not going to care to share. So, you care to share other people's information because you don't get no play. You get these receipts and not the source from other people and you run with that so people can sit back and drink oh yeah you're drinking it you're drinking uh liquor okay while you're uh giving this fake news to people and they're running with this because they were like oh my god it's gossip we're getting drunk we're getting high we're doing drugs and we're going to listen to tasha k and we're definitely definitely going to grow with the story because you ran with the story and she's getting millions and millions of likes and millions and millions of subscribers and everybody's just loving her. I know Cardi B is loving you the most because you got to pay her $4 million, bitch. Okay. So it says in court, the studio LLC acknowledged that some of her content is fake and that she knew some of the rumors she helped circulate were untrue, although she presented them as facts and even referred to herself as a journalist on her channel. But she admitted that she not she's not a journalist and that her primary objective is to entertain her viewers and increase traffic. So you entertaining by lying. I'm gonna say that again, you entertaining by lying. And then lying on Cardi B, like the infamous Cardi B, okay? The notorious motherfucking Cardi B, okay? And viewer en engagement through comments and those like her videos, which would make her content more likely to be recommended across the platform. Until now going viral. This whole viral is just getting people fucked royally without fucking Vaseline in their ass. This viral, everybody, it, yo, it, 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 me, me, okay, we're going to keep an eye statement. We're going to make an eye statement right now. I was like, yo, I wish I had made a video that went viral. Yeah, it's just the feeling being in a moment and right there, right now. People just want to feel it, right? You don't want to feel it? You don't want to make a you don't want to have a video that everybody is seeing and they want to they want to watch it and then they that, that's your shit. Of course, you want that feeling. It's almost like you went in the lottery. You got all the numbers. You're like, oh my God, oh my fucking God, I won. It's the feeling in the moment. However, when someone believes that they have the power to do what the fuck they want to do. And they're not doing it under a sober mind. They're doing it under a drunk ass mind. Okay? The brain is drunk. It's filled with alcohol. Blame it on the alcohol? No. Blame it on the henny? <laughs> Blame it on the out, 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 out. Yeah. Blame it on the alcohol, man. Your brain is filled. And you're not sober. And you're giving this information to people. You're messy, girl. You're just messy. You did what you did. You said what you said. Now you owe. You ought to pay what you owe.
Okay, so Going Viral has paid, which is just what the Studio LC Cardi B video did. The defendant even said on the stand that the defamation case is trending on social media, which everybody is, uh, the, the, I believe the video that she uh, said what she said, uh, even if she didn't take it down, the video is still surfacing, so it's basically it's trending and people are still watching it. But when they did order for her to take the video down, people have already screen recorded it. And mind you, they screen recorded it. And then all the other platforms, they already picked that story up, like the Eyewitness News. So, again, it's like, it's still there. The damages is still there. Right? I'm just saying. So, uh, surely banking on a lawsuit bringing more attention and views to her channel and several YouTubers are making a name for themselves covering the trial. Right. Because, I mean, when I heard about Tasha K, I heard about Tasha K from when T.S. Madison had did a interview on her show in her basement with another uh, man that was there. And I was like, okay, who is this person? And because, you know, I'm a Maddie Mob person. I follow T.S. Madison and I'm Maddie Mob News. So that's Maddie Mob with two Bs. Okay. And when she did a show on in her basement, I was like, okay, who's Tasha Gay? I didn't really, you know. And then I was seeing like bits and pieces of her through the social media. And then that's when. I noticed that she was going to do the story on this guy who allegedly was with Nene. And I was like, okay, I got to watch her. And then I told you guys about what happened. So, yeah. And then I was like, wow. And then when I read about this, oh, I, I, I actually did hear a little bit about the whole herpes and the baby thing. I heard about that. But I didn't really see the video. And I didn't really, because I usually watch Amaya Wiggins. And I know, and I I watch Michelle from the A, so I do know, like, I didn't really see on their platforms, even if they did have it, I didn't see it. So I didn't watch the video, but I went back and I Googled Tasha K's name and a whole slew of videos come up. And I mean, these are videos that other people picked up on their platform, like they say here, cover and drop. But... That easy money is how face a major constricted constriction. Okay, this defamation case at Cardi B's victory does more than highlight how much money is at stake when it comes to social media content. It also shows us what happens when the logistics of social media and that of federal courtroom comes head to head. Now, my thing is this. Um, you got to be careful too, because when you are definitely talking about certain things, that's why when I speak, I try to, I'm thinking, right. And, and, and I don't give a what y'all say, like, honestly, because this is a video that's going to go in my archives. All right. And I like to be very informative. And when I'm getting that information, I want to be very careful as well as as an information that I'm giving out there because I don't want to say something and then people who are just like me watching the video and like, huh? What? Where? Who? I told you guys I'm my biggest fan. So, yes. So, yes, I do think before I speak it out into existence because, again, I don't want nobody coming to me with no words of oppositions or words of discouragement or words with downness because i'm like i ain't i'm my name been ain't in it i ain't in it buddy boy like seriously so order to order for that not to happen is for you to give your opinion and speak before you think and understand that what you put out there in archives whether or not is going to how how you would feel by you know being on the other side of the camera view you know everybody has feelings Everybody has emotions, you know, and I don't know what Tasha K's emotions and feelings 
is if she feels suicidal, please call the suicidal hotline, okay? Because sometimes people believe that, oh my God, I don't have four million. Oh my God, I don't have all this money. I'm going to be paying this money for the rest of my life, okay? But it is what it is, man, okay? So the let's end it here. The verdict provides hope that the wild west of YouTube or the YouTube streets or the insiders call it can finally start to render in various of forms of harassment and uh which expose users personal information like home addresses and places of employment run rampant of social media every day yo this ain't this ain't nothing new to me I've, I've seen this already happen before again i've seen it with the whole kaya and t.s madison i've seen it with the whole kaya and t.s madison i've seen that whole saga bitch I seen it, okay, to the point where people with the mob, it wasn't my mob. That's why I said we are M O B B. There's Maddie Mob and there's Maddie Mob. That's M O B B News. There's a lot of mobs, but we're Maddie Mob News and we don't do stuff like that, okay? But those people were shutting her page down and flagging her page and people were doing this to Madison's page and to Kaya's page and Madison page and Kaya page and Madison page. So in this case, bitch, Cardi B won four million dollar settlement award, six figure. Pay her her money now. Most of us don't have the resources to wage a three-year lawsuit cost $1.3 million as Cardi B has done. But her taking a public stand on this case and winning victory should be put all those would-be Tasha K's on notice. Okay? If you know... If you don't know who Cardi B is, Cardi B has over 120 million Instagram followers and Laurel based fans who refer themselves uh, themselves as the uh, Bar Bar Bargy Barda game and help her become the first female rapper to rack up over 10 million sales for multiple songs with the most streamed rap album by a woman. An expert at personal branding, Cardi B used social media to speak directly with fans, attracting followers as she chimes on topics from presidential politics to motherhood while promoting her music in business adventure. Okay? Ladies and gentlemen, this is Kareem and Amonio. This this actually went a little bit further than I than I expected. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, it is what it is. It's it's actually a good video. It's a good 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 content here today. Definitely, definitely we get your likes in it. But yes, ladies and gentlemen, thank you. You've been watching Kareem and Amonio. I'll see you guys in the next video. For more information, you guys can visit the blog page. And get on out of here, man. And remember. But those Tasha K notices, those people are notice. Bye now.